fuck no y'all mad at me. So listen. Another thing. What happens when these people get here and there's people thinking they're getting these benefits and they prey on them? Think about that. How many people going to be victims to slum lords? And like I said, oh, shit. Oh, God. This is crazy. Oh, oh Lord, have mercy. Oh. Like I said, I want to turn this light off. The light is beaming in my eyes. Turn this off. So, like I was saying, what happens when these people get here and then they get preyed upon? When they get preyed upon by frivolous landlords, uh, young young girls gonna get tricked. Um, of course, young guys gonna get played out of their money. They they're gonna think that these people are sent here with a golden ticket. So let me capture one of these people and, and cheat them out of their money. What happens when that happens? You people out there who look at me and say, oh, you're crazy. It's not going to be violence. It's not going this. When them people in Katrina, all of a sudden, well, we're done helping you. We're done helping you. Um, you got to go. I'm not paying your rent no more. You got to move. You gotta leave. You gotta go. You cannot move somebody from one part of the world and then pull a Katrina on the ass and tell them, "Oh, you gotta go home. We gotta go." Well, um, you know, get a ticket from somebody. Is that what's gonna happen? See, you have to look at every single intangible. And uh, am I as evil as everybody thinks? Listen. Just listen. Think real hard. To help these people, it's going to take a lot more than the United States of America and the people of America. Because, like I said, instantly people will be mad. They get benefit. Some people might actually try to cheat them. Misconstrued that thought that they're going to come here with and get money and benefits and housing. And when the help runs out, it's just nothing left. You know, it's nothing left when the help runs out. It's just nothing. Nothing but a fist. Nothing but a big fist. I'm telling you, it's a recipe for disaster. They might even treat these people like in District 9. Y'all seen the movie? District 9. From all in one place and then alienate them. They complain about them. We don't know what's going to happen to these folks. So, I wish all the luck in the world for those people who get an opportunity to start their life over. I wish that some people will not look at these people as if a threat. They're taking our jobs. They're taking our jobs. They're taking our money. They're taking, they're taking our and taking all the welfare and taking out and taking out and taking it and taking it and taking it. It's going to be people saying it. There's going to be people just flipping out. It's going to be stupid. It's going to be dumb. And it ain't going to be funny. Mark my words. Shit goes down. I'm going to be on the sidelines with my video camera laughing. Because I told y'all. Human trafficking. 
chicken fights, the perpetuation of a stereotype. It's going down. But you know what kills me though? If somebody got the nerve to say, this is why black people don't get along. Excuse me? I believe in helping every single person in the world. But I believe in helping people the correct manner. Also believe in making sure certain things don't go down. Because I can see tomorrow, because I can see how you just don't treat people like they did those people in Katrina. Cause these people ain't those people and that's what I'm trying to say now, if you can't see what I'm talking about in about six months to a year you understand exactly what I'm saying mark my words and it ain't gonna be funny be like we are this place we just want to go home can't go home we're building condos on the beach man you can't go back there there's a condo going up. I don't want to be in America. We putting condos up, man. You can't go back there. Trump and Hilton got that, baby. Sorry. I don't know. Not making jokes of the situation. The situation is grave. But there's more intangibles than just people getting help. Like we discussed on the phone, if there's millions of people out of work, how can you bring in five million unemployed people? You can call me a fool, but a um, fool can do math like that, can't he? I gotta go. It's time for me to go get something to eat. Been having heartburn lately. I got bad tooth, you know. It's, it's not good. You know? I'm just fading away, folks. You know, it's just you know, it's not happening. Boy, I might not be here for the big old rights, but <laughs> <laughs> no. Don't call me Uncle Ruckus no more, cause I don't like to get those Uncle Ruckus. You know who called me Uncle Ruckus? Don't don't do that. I love black people. But I also know uh, cultures clash. Testosterone will be flying. These cats ain't no joke. <laughs> y'all brothers think y'all hood. <laughs> they from down up there in the radiator district. <laughs> <It's good. laughs> That's why. You folks out there got to live with open mind. But um, like I said, if they treat these people like they treat them people with Katrina, these people ain't those people. And they will stand up for their rights a hell of a lot faster than some of these chicken shit ass Americans who run around here swearing that they want a better America for everybody. So, let me tell y'all folks, don't never say I don't love my people or any people. I love all people. But, whenever you take a million people out of any place, you tell me, you tell me what million you pulling and what, where you pulling these millions from. What grade is this? There's different levels of different people in, in all different, in, in, in each layer of the onion, so to speak. There's good and bad. Remember that. Um, I gotta go. I uh, built a self defense grid outside. Video cameras and shit. I know what I'm doing. Brand new surveillance. Brand new box. Brand new hot tech. Hot tech surveillance, buddy. Tech, hot tech, spy cam, spy cam, put it underneath the rock.